I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused. Even if that means our world has to burn. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Ned Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know is, is the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. Dumad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her.
to Ross. Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... Stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Fill comes down complete. And the whole world is going to look a lot like this. You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? We're good, but we need to move. Agreed. Solus isn't waiting, neither can we. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Eric, hiding. Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons.
good enough. Let's get to Solus. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. is a wound inflicted upon this world, it must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Nev. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. Why? Why tear down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost? We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! Right! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push!
no idea what you have done. Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. Get out of my head! As I said... Out! I do not want to be here any more than you do. But your actions have set events in motion. And I would not have your ignorance on my conscience. What are you talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the Blighted Elven Gods walk free. How am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. Your ritual let the gods loose. You don't get to sit back and look smug. What else could I possibly do? I do not have my ritual dagger. I do not have the network of mirrors that took me from the lighthouse across the world. I have nothing, as the gods threaten this world again, all because you disrupted my ritual. You mean when I stopped you from covering the world with demons? You will soon see what I was trying to prevent. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down you the veil? To listen. No! no! I have no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay. But I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. Gonna take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. You've got to get better. We need you leading the charge. You stopped Solus from flooding the world with demons, Rook. Not me. Besides, I can't do much leading from bed. But something else escaped, Varric. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like your impulsive rescue of those captives from the Antam slavers. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. 
I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little? We might be here a while. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? While I was out cold. He showed up in my dream, and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that, either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams. Even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. I don't care about the philosophy. In terms of his power against ours, he's a god. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganarn and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. I talked with Solus. He was scared of them. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elganarn and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elganarn and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solus is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind. This time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. 
The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site, instead of back to Minrathis. Then let's hope it takes us back. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that Alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Now, are you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus and stopped his ritual, but Things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else got out. Elganon and Gilanane, supposedly. Mathalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. So Elganon and Gilanane are loose. Which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them... Let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, 
It'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Ballara. Nev, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. It's a headache. I'll be fine. I know you want to help, but we don't know what we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. All right. Just watch your backs. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper Camp. It's just south of here. Ballara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Is it me? Or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. Is that suit of armor moving? <laughs> Lara? Bellara Luter. Strife and Irulin sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elganan and Gilanane have escaped from Fen Harel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic, thick as fog. Only a god or gods could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it and dangerous, really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but. But what? See that shimmer? That's a veil bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Strife and Irulan said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. Okay, here it is. The Nautis Thurthalen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back. Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic 
magic is pulsing. I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. I wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. What does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What do you. Where'd the spirit go? The Nardas de Thalen, I mean. It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken until I fix it. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife in Ireland will want to know about this, and the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nardis Durthalen. Wait, you found the Nardis Durthalen? The Archive Spirit? 
We could ask it about the gods. Figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe. But we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know. But maybe, if we find them, we find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four, I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people, and it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there, and good luck. <laughs>